dear students hope you are fine as you know that we are uh, reading over unit number 7 good manners and morals uh in this unit i have selected lesson number 4 uh, forgiveness for today's class students first we will learn what actually forgiveness is forgiveness means to forgive someone forgiveness is a conscious and deliberate action to release bad feelings or to release feelings of hatredness towards a person uh, or a group who has harmed you if someone has harmed you hurt you you forgive them by the deliberate effort of your mind of your conscious and it doesn't mean that you are forgetting all that but you are just getting rid of bad feelings for yourself for your peace of mind so forgiveness gives peace of mind and frees someone from uh, anger or bad feelings right and uh, you can say that forgiveness can lead to feelings of understanding and uh, feelings of empathy for the one who has hurt you right and you can say that forgiveness is about goodness and forgiveness itself is a medicine it can heal your wound there are some wounds uh, emotional wounds that you cannot see but they do exist right so forgiving somebody is just like that you are healing your own self that you are working on your own self let's see, let's start uh, reading what quran says about it wala man sabara wa ghafara inna zalika lamin lamin azm al umur quran says and verily whoever shows patience and forgives that is indeed of a matters of determination quran says this is not an easy thing if somebody be patient and forgive others it is definitely a uh, something out of uh, yani something remarkable forgiveness is a desirable act or act and a good quality underline the word desirable desirable means uh, useful or necessary or required and definitely it is a good quality it is the part of your good characteristics of your personality it comes from a generous heart underline the word generous students generous mean a person who is very giving who gives to others who gives value who is always ready to add value in someone's life through whatever he is having either with money either with the good behavior hmm it comes from a generous heart it comes from only yani only uh, that person can forgive others who is generous who is having extra ability to give others and sensible mind only those people can forgive others who think rationally what is the meaning of rationally yani they think uh, about things for a reason hmm it enables us to be patient with the offenses underline the word offenses offenses mean uh, bad behaviors or upsets or hurts or annoying feelings and harm of others so what forgiveness does for us it helps us to let go the offenses the hurts that we have received from other other people we should exercise it whenever we can what is the meaning of this sentence we should exercise it it means that we should consciously practice it we should consciously think about it hmm sometimes someone who seeks only to retaliate underline the word retaliate it means uh make an attack in return of the similar attack or you can say to to get a revenge so if someone who seeks only to retaliate when hurt is a mean minded person what is the meaning of this sentence that someone 
who is uh, being hurt by someone and he is always thinking to take revenge from that person he is a mean minded person what is the meaning of mean unkind who is not positive person who is having the sick mind so it is not a good feeling to always think about taking revenge from people but the one who forgives is a person of truly high quality who is a person of high quality who just let go the bad things he will be rewarded by allah for his patience so who reward him for the patience allah reward him for the patience and the reward which allah gives us is the best of all when we ask allah's forgiveness he forgives us a good muslim should do the same for others so what is the meaning of this line this line is such an important thing listen it carefully students we want allah to forgive us whenever we visit haram whenever we pray whenever we uh, do anything good you know we have a very deep intention in our mind we always pray for uh, uh, from allah to forgive us so if we want forgiveness so it means we should forgive if we want forgiveness we should forgive so a good muslim should do the same for other who is a good muslim a good muslim is the one who is having a big heart who feels the same for others as he wants things for himself he will choose the same things for others what he chooses for him forgiveness is highly encouraged in islam our prophet peace be upon him forgave his bitter enemies when they were at his disposal particularly after the conquest of makka underline the word disposal disposal mean getting rid of something and conquest mean uh you remember conquest is the act of taking control of a country so here in these line lines they have discussed the bestest example of forgiveness that our prophet forgave his bitter enemies when he conquered the makka you remember at the completion of his preach preaching of islam when he came back to makka when he conquered the makka he forgave all his bitter enemies this is the best example of forgiveness holy prophet peace be upon him did not take revenge from them allah ask us to counter the errors of heedless people who with goodness in order to remove enmity from their hearts underline the word counter students counter means to act in opposition yani uh, to take revenge or to behave in the same way errors are the mistakes heedless the people who are not on the right path so allah ask us to counter the errors of heedless people with goodness what allah wants us to act as a response of bad things here is the answer with goodness allah wants us to response back the bad things with goodness in order to remove enmity underline the word enmity enmity means feelings of hate from their hearts what allah wants us allah wants us to remove the bad feelings from our hearts students let me know one thing answer me one thing will you ever uh, would like to keep the garbage in the dustbin and did you ever keep the dustbin in your bedroom no the dustbin has one part uh, is located in one part of the house and we always uh, empty it isn't it so is the case with our hearts if our hearts are filled with hate with bad feelings with revenge with anger with disputes so it is just like a dis- dustbin so what is important to do here it is important to empty the bad dustbin of our hearts got it so what how we how would we do it with conscious efforts what is the meaning of conscious efforts 
that we think about it that that uh, we are here because we are here with human beings you are living and surrounded by human beings around you with your siblings with your friends with your parents with your uh, companions family members uh, maybe uh, outsiders when we are going outside so we are everywhere we are surrounded with people so what to do there would definitely be clash clash of ideas clash of ideologies clash of uh, behaviors there would must be the clash so how to handle that clash by forgiving others and forgiveness is the go- goodness of heart right allah says and not equal are the good deed and the bad repel evil by that deed which is better and there upon the one whom between you and him is enmity as though he was a devoted friend what does it means allah says goodness and bad is not equal good deed and bad deeds are definitely have a line of demarcation yani they are very different from each other repel underline the word repel please repel mean drive away or uh, force back or keep it away from you so repel bad things uh, repel by that which is better the one whom between you and him is enmity as though he was a devoted friend what is the meaning of these lines that good deeds are definitely different from bad deeds so if you will forcefully uh, keep your bad feelings away from you so you can be in good relationship with people you can keep the people in touch with you but otherwise they will be your enemy if you will keep long the bad feelings they will become your enemy islam encourages us to practice forgiveness it leads to friendship between opponents who are opponents opponents the people who are enemy of each other that is because an offender feels grateful for the forgiveness granted to him especially when it comes from one who has the ability to punish him why islam encourage encourages us to practice forgiveness because it leads friendship definitely if you will forgive someone who is having great feelings of uh, uh, enmity for you he will definitely be will become forg- friend of yours so islam wants us islam is the religion of peace you know so islam wants us to live a peaceful life you know students we are here for the limited time period as we discussed in our last class that we are not here for uh, for many years or for countless years or for uh, till the day of judgment no our life duration is very limited right so islam wants us to stay in this world with peace of mind and with purity of hearts okay let's read what our prophet peace be upon him said said about forgiveness قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الا اخبركم بمن ترموا عليه عليه النار على كل قريب حي سهل what does it means prophet muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم said shall i not inform you to whom the hell fire is forbidden to him who is always accessible easy going and gentle accessible yani people can approach him easy going which means that people he does not give uh, uh, people hard time and gentle who is kind in his and affectionate in his dealings so with these qualities with these uh, characteristics the hell fire is forbidden for that per- per- person forbidden means it will not touch the hell fire will not will not touch to the person who is easy going who is gentle who is kind and forgiver 
for the people i hope students you have understood the meaning uh, of forgiveness and it's important in our li- importance in our life as well this is all about um, the topic forgiveness uh, i will give you the words meanings uh, of this lesson you are going to na- note down them on your notebooks uh, which you just have underlined